Adam and Ginter. Four bars break number one. Four at you says should work on the Spectra. You know, I'm going to have to agree with you, dog. Yeah, a filler. Uh, Kel's got into uh, into the Spectra. Let me uh, let me see. Let me see what that's looking like. In the meantime, let me open up this case of Alan and Ginter. Uh, if anybody's watching, I have personal boxes available of this on my website. You get the whole shebang and everything ships, baby. One hundred six ninety nine for a personal box of this stuff. It's pretty fire. Uh, so Kells picked up the Knicks and Spectra 2. I appreciate that, Kells. Thank you, my man. Uh, let me see. Pacers gun and Spectra 1. Okay, so everything I have is up to date there. And we're doing four boxes of Allen and Ginter. This stuff is funky, y'all. But there's pretty sweet stuff in here. Boom, four boxes have been chosen. Let me put the rest of these away. Now, we did sell a non-baseball spot, so any cards that are not uh, not designated to a team, go to the non-baseball spot. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I don't, I'm not a fan of Mac anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I need sleeves though. Sleeves on deck. Uh, four just fell down the stairs. What the heck? What is what is a code blue? You know, if, if I, when I think of Code Blue, I, I just immediately, well, what is it? It's officially after dark, right? Yeah. All the kids should be asleep now. Yeah? Okay. Adult time. So when I think of Code Blue, automatically I think, oh, blue balls. That's that's a Code Blue for me. That is a Code Blue for me. Dang, 4AU, walk much? Well, what happened? What were you doing falling down the stairs, dog? Ah, Mr. Socks, you like that one, huh? You nasty. All right, let's see what we got here. I wish I could understand what you meant by that for at you, so I'm just going to say LOL, which is like my generic response to everything. LOL or a smiley face, those are like my go-tos. Or like there's a thing, you know, we like or at least in Miami, like if, if you're having a, like, like you could legit, like I'm a terrible person, bro. Like you could legit have a conversation with me and I would not be paying attention the entire time and I'll be looking at you dead in your face. I'll be looking at your eyes and everything. Like, you know how they tell you, oh, you know, to be a good listener or a good, great, you know, you, you want to look him in the eyes because it shows him you're paying attention and blah, blah, blah. Mm, yeah, no. I can literally, you can literally have an entire conversation with me. I'll look you dead in your face and not hear a single word. And, you know, I'm really good at bullshitting a conversation. So I would just repeat the last thing you say, but like switch it around. You know what I mean? To make it look like I'm interested and just nod the whole time and be, you know, hit you with the, oh, damn, really? Wow. My favorite is, that's crazy. If, if I say that to you, I'm really not paying attention. 
if we're having a conversation and I respond with, that's crazy, nine times out of ten, I didn't hear anything. And I was in my mind. So Cardboard Moses says, if you ever want to fake a conversation with somebody, especially with the ladies, because let's be honest, they talk a bunch of bullshit we ain't trying to hear. So what you do is, you look them dead in the eye, you nod, but don't nod like all the time, because then you look like an asshole. You like nod like every every other sentence, like like hit her with a nod. Like it just looks solid and, like a little bop, like, mm-hmm. Like, okay, he's into the conversation. And then like make some facial expressions, like open up your eyes whenever like a curse word is dropped. Like, oh damn. If she ever like says fuck or something, be like open up your eyes a little bit like, oh damn, he's paying attention. And then just repeat, you know, if she ever asks you a question, like if she asks you a question, I like to hit her with the Socratic method. She asked me something, I take what the last like five words I heard, I, I formulate a sentence and I just regurgitate it and I just spit it right back to her. Or him too, whatever. And then they're like, oh snap, this guy got all philosophical on me, yo. Boom. No, Kels, after five sentences, if she's not if she's not peeing the gene, if she's not, you know what I'm saying? At that point, then you can just be like, eh, whatever. See, headbutt, see, I, I would headbutt her, but with, with the other head, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you know, that's a question. If you if you pull an Otani rip card, are you ripping it? Because uh, last year, I had hit a Judge rip card and a Ben Benintendi rip card and a Koufax 101 rip card. I have no idea what's behind those. Would you rip any of those three cards? For at you, if you don't know what a rip card is, uh, type in, go, look, go to google.com. All right, once you go to google.com, type in Allen and Ginter rip card. And then read! All jokes aside, though, a rip card is essentially a card inside a card, like literally. It's a card inside a card. There's an Allen Iverson rip card. Oh, man, I want it. You want to buy it for me? I'll love you forever. And ever and ever. And ever and ever. Alright, let's uh, get this started. So obviously that goes to the non-baseball or the non-team spot. This stuff is funky, y'all. A Thomas Mini White Sox. Yeah, Kells, I'm straight, dog. I'm, I'm already poor. My man Black Hawk looking all intimidating right there. Indigenous heroes, obviously. That'll go to the non-baseball spot. Just like this Paradise Island card will go to the non-baseball spot. I hear you, Jimbo. Yo, Jimbo, how was your uh, your historical deal that you had going on? Was it fun? Did you have a good time? Nice to see you back, man. You were gone for like a week, bro. Mookie Betts, Mini. Shoot him or Gavin! Eric Fade, Nationals Mini. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Hey, cutie patootie. How you doing? Uh, that was awkward. Rogers Mini, that guy. Who's that guy? He is a game show champion, apparently. The non baseball spot is like low key money. Hey, astrophobia. It's the fear of, uh, of like, natural something. I don't know. It's the fear of storms. Hey, look at that. Look at that. History lessons in this thing. Yadi Molina, Cardinals Mini. You eat pieces of shit? <laughs> ah, I gotta love Judah McGavin. Ah, legendary, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna watch that movie like later tonight for sure. 
I haven't seen that movie in so long. And it's on Netflix again. I love that movie. Uh, British Guinea Magenta. Yo, I'm seriously going to do... I'm going to start a series on YouTube. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like a, a YouTuber. And what I'm going to... You can steal my idea if you want to. You ain't going to do it as good as me. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to like... I'm going to come out with like sequels to like classic Adam Sandler movies. All right? So I'm going to come out with like Big Daddy 2. Happy Gilmore 2. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Flaherty Rookie Cardinals. And Duhar, Yankees mini. Ben Stiller's and Happy Gilmore? You know what they should they should have came out with a sequel for uh There's Something About Mary. That movie was hilarious. Hilarious. Pedroya Mini Red Sox. Uh Scott Bloomstein, Poker Champion, Use Memorabilia? Okay, who's <laughs> the poker champion right here? Go into the non baseball spot. I'm trying to tell you the non baseball spot is a low key gold mine. Oh, snap, Jimbo. The what? Yo, the water boy needs a sequel. Like, seriously, like him and Vicky Valancourt make babies. And, like, of course, the baby's got to play for the mud dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I need to know what happened with Vicky Valancourt. Uh, Barry Larkin Mini for the Reds. Yeah, that that might be a piece of his shirt. I don't know. That's what it looks like. I would think maybe they'll throw, like, a poker chip in so, or something in there. That would be dope. Maybe in the one-on-one. That's probably what they do. They, they throw in a, uh, a poker chip since he's a poker champ. Uh, Mr. Flaherty. Rookie for the Cardinals, mean. That's exactly what I said for you. Congratulations. Welcome to the conversation. Uh, David Ortiz with a relic. Big Poppy for the Red Sox. And Vicky showed me her boobies, and I like those too. I love when, uh, when Coach Klein tells his mama. Or no, he tells Bobby. He's like, what, what mama don't know, don't hurt her. And he has a fucking Ray Orbison tattoo on his ass. <laughs> it's so random, bro. Like, yo, Adam Sandler, dude, like, seriously, like, those movies back in the day were the shit. And he, like, he always had his homies in the same movie. Like, that's what I really liked was Adam Sandler was, like, consistent with, like, all his homies. All Like, all his homies were, like, in every movie, bro. They, they, like, he seriously needs to, like, I need to talk to him. I need to talk to him. Since he's like making Netflix movies now, like dog, I need I need a sequel to The Water Boy, I need a sequel to to Happy Gilmore. Uh, what's that one where he goes back to school? Um, I, I always confuse I always confuse Happy Gilmore with that movie. What's the name of that movie where he like goes back? Happy Madison. There it is. Verlander Astros, you know. Or Billy Madison, that's what it's called, Billy Madison. Uh, I always compute, I always confuse Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison. Uh, what's Big Dad? You know, Big Daddy. That that needs to be, re you know, sequel time. The one where he's like a demon or whatever. Little Nicky, Dad needs to get a sequel. For a while, like he had like a string of like really good movies, like hilarious movies. What's the other one with uh, where he's like he gets like inherited some money? Ah, oh, that's another really good one. Mustauskas Royal Mini. Yadi Molina, Mr. Deeds. There it is, a Mr. Deeds sequel. I need it. I need it. I, I, it must happen. Mr. Deeds, honestly, I'll tell you what, Miss uh, Kel, smoke a fat ass blunt and watch Mr. Deeds, and uh, call call Doctor Jesse in the morning. Mr. McMahon, Rockies mini, rookie auto. Let's 
Lucky Jersey Numbers, Baseball Superstitions, Adrian Beltre of the Rangers. Interesting, interesting. Bulletproof, bulletproof. Isn't bulletproof with uh, Damon Wayans? Right? I think that's what it is. Marcelo Zuna Marlins with the uh, Home Run Derby card, or at least that's what I'm calling it. You scratch that off, and you have a chance to possibly win a trip to the 2019 Home Run Derby, which is being hosted in Cleveland, I believe. Somebody told me that. Uh, Cespedes in the Mets mini. Yeah, I remember the movie you're talking about. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. I wouldn't exactly call that an Adam Sandler movie, though. You know what I mean? Because what was uh, was is, if Rob Schneider if Rob Schneider is not in it, it's not an Adam Sandler movie. You know what I'm saying? Santana Phillies mini. Venice Beach. Grandma's Boy. Not a Sandler movie, but uh, that should definitely get a... Uh, that, that should definitely get a sequel. Tommy was so getting a mini card. This dude made like one of the worst movies ever. Ever! Now, I'm not condoning suicide, but if you ever want to get to that point where you seriously consider suicide... This might get you there. It's a movie called The Room. It is one of the worst movies ever. So bad that it's actually pretty funny. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. All right, what do we got here? A patch for Adam Jones of the Orioles. You're talking about Wiseau? Yeah, Wiseau directed, produced, and act and starred in his own movie. And it was terrible. So no autos in this box, unfortunately. Straight relics. The box toppers could be autoed, so who knows? Uh, Jesse Winker, Reds Mini. A Method Man autograph would be insane. As a, as a hip-hop fan, that'd be pretty dope. Bismarck Key got autos in this stuff, too. I want to stash like this guy. I don't know who that is, but I want to stash like that. So I dropped the filler for Elite, going nowhere. Come on now. So Adam Sandler doesn't do movies with Rob Schneider anymore? How come? They got into a fight or something? Got into a little argument? Still seven spots left in Elite. Whoa! Are you serious? That's intense. Are you for realsies? Rob went full jig. You should never go full jigolo. My man Rob went full jigolo on Ben uh, on uh. Oh, cause nobody likes Rob Schneider. Oh, he got a hot wife though. Have you seen his show on Netflix or whatever? He's got a pretty banging wife. Maybe that's why people hate him a dog. And yeah, because he's a gigolo. Rob Schneider seems like a cool dude. Uh, no, for you, you did not. I don't know. When I think of Rob Schneider, I think about this other guy sometimes. 
I can't remember. Polly Shore. That's his name. Polly Shore. I think Polly Shore is some somebody that everybody hates. Rob Schneider's weird as fuck. Dude, I'm pretty fucking weird. Maybe I should get into showbiz. There's a Michael Jackson auto. Was or is? Two different things. Past tense. Present tense. You know. If I missed the Michael Jackson autograph, I'm pretty sure I would have seen that. Oh, for you, dude, I haven't had a... Oh, never mind, Kells. I, I just, I got it. I just got it. I literally just got it. I'm so, I'm so dumb. Polly Shore is dope. I mean, he's like the same character in every movie. But I most know him from his role in Encino Man. Or Biodome. I think that's what it's called. Biodome. Two classic Pauly Shore movies. And the only Pauly Shore movies I know. Encino Man is with Brandon Frazier and the Caveman Dude. And then Biodome. He's in a freaking Biodome. I think that's what it's called. Biodome, right? Hey, Siri. This bit. Is there a movie called Biodome? Here's Biodome. Yeah. In this outrageous comedy, five brave scientists are forced to face life forms more perplexing, more terrifying, more annoying than anything they've ever encountered. Polly Shore and Stephen Baldwin. That's right. Stephen Baldwin was in that. Bulgario. Mm, hey, Siri. Has Pauly Shore ever done a movie with Will Ferrell? Hmm. I'm not finding anything to that. Yeah, I didn't think so either. It's all good, Siri. Thank you. Bulgaria. Bulga I got a Bulgaria? I've never heard of Bulgaria. Chris Fitz, shouldn't you be working, dog? Oh, there's a mini here, so I'm just going to get that. Mr. James, whoever that guy is. He's a writer and statistician. Is he that money ball dude? I don't know. I don't know anything. All right, what else we got? Well, I see a relic staring at me. So you went from Bulgaria to Hilarious? Autocorrect? Hmm. Brinson Marlins? Like I, I, like it always bothers me when my when my thing corrects a uh, fuck to duck. Like, wh what the hell is ducking? Yeah, Bill James. Bill James. Uh, ch 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 prolific author, outside the box thinker on the subject, now an advisor for the Red Sox. In 2006, named one of the top 100 influential people by Time Magazine. Uh, he's a uh, st statistical an an analyst. Uh, helps plot the financial, developmental, and strategic course of virtually every MLB team. MLB team. Can trace many of its roots to Bill's baseball abstracts of the 1980s, huh? Yeah, isn't that the Moneyball dude? You're using Swipe? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Ugh, Christian Gellich Brewers Mini. Wade Boggs. Red Sox mini. I wonder if the story is true that my dog drank like a hundred beers. Like on a plane on the way to a game. 
and then played like hammered. <laughs> that would be so legendary. I think he threw like a no header hammered or something. Luke Roy Rangers mini, or at least that's how I remember that episode of uh, of what you call it of uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, which is coming back sometime this year. Uh, Kyle Seeger mm, Mariners mini. Dude, Spectra. I don't know where Spectra's at right now. Well, no, not 100, but close to it. Like, I, I want to say the number was close to 100. Freddie Freeman of the Braves with a patch. Been straight patch action so far. Oh, Moneyball is Billy Bean. Well, yeah, whatever that dude is. He's some guy there. Going to the non-baseball the non spot. Don't worry about it. Jordan Montgomery. Mini for the Yonkers. Need to get something big here. Hey, got these uh, hottest peppers on here. The red Savina Habanero. These would be cool if you could, like, scratch and sniff it or something. Or, like, lick it and then, like, taste it. <laughs> uh oh What is this? Stroman Blue Jays Mini. <sighs> hey, what? the f Yo, they got basketball players in this thing. I think he was the second overall pick. Marvin Bagley the third. Wow, that's sick. Autograph right there. That's going to the non team spot, the non baseball spot. I'm telling you guys, the non baseball spot is low key money. That's nice. I forget what team he, he got picked by, though. Oh, no, I, I knew this, Kells. I knew this. I just did not know that they had the, uh, the, the you know, some of the rookies in this stuff, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, no. Okay, so this is when I get freaked out. Uh, Colrophobia, if I'm not mistaken, is the fear of clowns. Yeah, I don't play that shit. Uh, clowns began servicing in forests, subway stations, and other random spots in 2016, scaring the daylights out of Americans. And confirming widespread colrophobia. Oddly, uh, oddly, studies have implied that people find clowns creepy for the same reasons they fear ambiguity. Whatever the fuck that means. I just don't like clowns because they're fucking creepy. Like, why are you smiling the, the whole time? Stroman Blue Jays Mini. I'm not, I am just not a fan of clowns. No, I'm not scared of clowns. I just... Uh, I don't... I don't pl I I don't like clowns. Uh, Tecumse, indigenous hero from back in the day, day. There you go. Marvin Bagley is a king. The Kings got some nice nice young players, man. I wonder what they're gonna look like next year. Uh, Nicky Domonico with a mini for the White Sox. Hey, girl. Jose Abreu, White Sox, uh, home run derby deal, whatever. The fear of potatoes. The hell is that? People are actually scared of potatoes? Steven Matz, Mets? I mean, whatever. People are scared of pretty much anything these days. Sean Newcomb, mini for the Braves. Hey. I know Tani. Rookie base for the Angels. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take this time to get some refreshment, get some water, and I also need some top loader. So be right back.
How was the stream tonight? There's this dude, you've probably seen this, he's like a, like he's an inventor. He got like a game pad, he like completely broke it apart, and then he started putting like, like fucking, like instead of like pressing a button, you gotta turn a wheel or I something. I've seen that before. Right? So he's like playing Mario, uh -huh. and he's like turning the wheels and like playing with that shit, like it's fucking weird as fuck. I, but it's cool as hell though. Was he black? No, it's like Asian dude. Some like Asian ass dude. And he made it like a trap. That shit was cool as fuck though. Like he had to like do like. Huh? It was it was difficult as fuck to you. So it was yeah, like like intentionally like intentionally made it hard yeah. to like yeah, yeah, yeah. do. It was pretty cool. That. But not like fully watched it, kinda of like slow. Yeah, I did the same. I came out for something else. What the fuck was it? God damn it. I gotta lay off that uh that mother nature, yo. My brain is going to mush. What up, Big Greg? Who are those women in this product? They're lovely young ladies, that's who. They're mothers, they're daughters. You respect them, okay? All right, let's continue. I got some top loaders, y'all boys. Maven Mini for the Marlins. Dude, you, dude, I'm telling you, the more we open Ginter, the weirder it's going to get. No worries, Eric. We'll try again tomorrow. You know I'll be here, baby. Yuli Guriel, Astros Mini. Have a good night, my man. Appreciate you helping out, dude. We'll get it filled tomorrow. We'll get it filled tomorrow. Uh, Harrison Bader, Mini, Cardinals. So many Minis in this stuff, man. Rizzo Cubs Mini There's an Oprah <laughs> Oh god I would listen I would not I would not be surprised seriously It's this is Allen and Ginter anything is possible in this McCutcheon Giants Mini Chris Archer Patch for the uh, Rays. Oh. Try to do the uh, the hook shot. So far, only one autograph. Two boxes left, though. And the rest of this one. And the box toppers, too. The USSR flag. They got some funkiness in this stuff, seriously. Korea Astros Mini. Get that Method Man autograph, do dog. What Spanish dialect pronounces S like a TH? Feliz. Uh, that's Spain. Spain, right? Yeah. That chick was from Spain. What chick is that from video? Spain? Oh, really? I unmuted the video and she. And you heard her? her? Nice. Yeah. I was like, the what? hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Baden Cruiser Error, whatever postage required card. That's kind of cool. Let's 
Seriously, it is my goal to end up on an Allen and Ginter card. Seriously. Within like the next three years, me and Jason need to have our own Ginter card. Gibson Cardinals Mini, it's a must. It's got to happen. I want to. I need to talk to my peoples over at Tops and make that happen. All right, two boxes down. After this, we have Optic Baseball. Another top loader. That's three so far. Or a box topper, I'm sorry. Now, for my peeps still watching, I do have personal boxes of this listed on my site, y'all. Alan and Ginter personal boxes going 106, uh, going for 106 and 99 cents. Alright, if you want to go ahead and pick up your very own box of this stuff, check out our site, ripcitycards.com. Now, Spectre Basketball is close to filling at 12 spots. For those of you guys that are watching, I, I see 18 peeps watching. You guys want to fill Spectra number one? It's down to 12 teams. The Jazz still up for grabs. I could run a filler for that. We get that thing moving tonight. What do you say? What do you say? Let me go ahead and drop that down. What is it going to go for, Uncle Jesse? Yeah, it'd be 38 bucks a spot. Uh, Big Greg, I did for eBay. I did a full case for, e for eBay. Um, but that was about it. Trying to get another going here for the store this time. Because everybody knows that's where it sat. I'm going to put it in the filler here or in the chat. We got Bucks, Cavs, Clippers, Grizzlies, uh, the Hawks, the Heat, the Hornets, the, the Yaws, the Yaws, the Magic, the Mavs, the Nets, and the Pelicans. Not the Pelicans. The Pelicans. Because we can get this thing filled, baby. It's 12 spots. $38. People, the Jazz still up for grabs. Not to mention, the rookie class is loaded. <laughs> Thank you. Holy crap. Oh, man. Excuse me, y'all. Still got plenty of good teams left. Plenty of good teams left. DJ Wilson, Sterling Brown with the Bucks. Cavs got some good hits. Clippers got some good hits. Grizzlies, uh, who's their rookie? Dylan. Dylan Brooks. The Hawks, John Collins. The Heat, Bam Adebayo. The Hornets, Malik Monk. The Jazz, Donovan Mitchell. The Jazz, uh, I'm sorry, the Magic, Jonathan Isaac. The Mavericks, Dennis Smith Jr. The Nets, Jarrett Allen. And Pelicans got Frank Jackson. And those are just the rookies.
<laughs> Alan and Ginter should add porn stars. That would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome. Especially if they throw in the relics on there. What? That Terra Patrick 101 game use memorabilia? <laughs> That Hong Kong 101 relic, Tomas. If freaking nature still watching that Nikki Stars. Ew, Kells. Ew. Game used. Game used. <laughs> Ah, all right, box three, what do we got? Okay, so these are like different, right? I'm not, am I tripping? Am I tri, it's getting late. Am I losing my mind? No, I'm not. What are these things called? They're definitely different. Well, here's a mini for a Bray, you White Sox. The heck are these? They're like glossy or something. Cool. They're not numbered though. They are not numbered, but cool. Anthony Rendon Nationals Mini. They got that gloss to them, that little glossy gloss. Lewis Brinson, Marlins patch. It gotta be like a short print or something. Are you, is that really what they're called? Glaucoma cards? Clemente, Pirates, Mini. Maybe, maybe it's like those glossy cards are like, you know, one per box or something. You know what I mean? Like one box is just full of them. Zimmerman Nationals Mini. This is the first time I'm seeing them, so that's why I'm tripping. Thought I was losing my mind. But they are not numbered, though. Ben Zobra's Cubs Mini. Glaucoma cards. Are they really called glaucoma cards? I believe you, too. Ben Knight Horse Campbell. I can tell you for a fact the guy's name is not Ben Campbell. Knight Horse, though? <laughs> Probably. What? First Native American to serve in the U.S. Senate. That's cool. Got these Glauce Encarnacion Mini for the Indians. There's got to be something dope in this box, right? Especially with these Glauces. These Glaucomas. Wait, I'm going to call them Glaucomas until somebody corrects me. Goldschmidt d backs Mini. More Glaucomas. Salvador Perez Mini. For the Royals. I'm ready to see a rip card, man. More glaucomas. The uh, hot box silver gloss. The silver gloss. A Aaron Nola. Phillies, me. See, that's why I missed you, Tomas. My right hand man. My boy. Shooter McGavin. That'd be so dope if he signed this card, Shooter McGavin. Ah, oh, that'd be that would be the shit. Luke Weaver Mini, Cardinals. More glossies, silver gloss. Gloss like just sounds like a dirt gloss, gloss. 
Uh, a veophobia, the fear of flying. I'm going to be flying in a couple weeks to Cleveland. I like flying, but I don't like flying. You get what I'm saying? Matt Kemp Mini for the Dodgers. Uh, I see another Mini here, so I might as well just get it. It's my baby, Genie Bouchard. I'll rub that lamp any and all day. Tennis player? Oh, yeah. 40, 42 love you, girl, or whatever. I forgot. Like, I don't know how they keep score. Um... Another mini for Al Mora. Cubs. Oh, here's the case hit. The fungal bat. No, no, no. It's not a case hit. Uh, circa late 1800s. Huh. Anyways. Interesting. Interesting. Cisco rookie Orioles mini. Jim Thorpe, Indigenous Hero. It's kind of cool. Albies. What do we got here? Javi Baez. Patch for the Cubs. Bob's Burgers. Mr. Benjamin Mini. Oh, my boy, Pohatan. Indigenous hero. Yep, he voiced, he does Archer. He's also Bob from Bob's Burgers. Pohatan was Pocahontas' father. Interesting. Oh, Bouchard, girl. What is there? Texas Lost Nation flag. He also voiced the convenience store kid. That's right. Very true. Very true. My boy knows his stuff. What do we got here? Oh, come on. A John Schmoltz patch for the Braves. So no auto in this box. Then Altuve Mini Stroth. Carlos Correa Astros Mini. That's a lot of minis, man. Lewis Brinson, Marlins mini. Oh, these are the glow in the darks, right? Ah, they don't really glow in the dark. You lied to me! It's dark and ain't nothing glowing. I'm a fool. Don't pay me no mind.
Let there be light! Alright. Or maybe they do go in the dark, I don't know. Dodgers, Bellinger. Scratch that off. You might go to next year's uh, Home and Derby. A Calhoun Mini Rangers. Hold it in the light first. You got to charge it. Okay. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> ah, ha. Ah. Yo, it's, it's getting late. I the, the later it gets, the loopier I get. Like, the dumber I get. Is that a Pegasus card? Oh my god. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. In the hot box silver parallels. Phony, phony, phony stuff. Got to see what that box top is about later. Big Greg, no, but listen, Big Greg, I, I, I believe you. I am just at that point of the, where I'm just, I just don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know I should, but like, I just don't care. <laughs> ah, dude, I'm hungry. Like, dude, I bought all that food, and I literally haven't taken a break to, like, eat. I've been munching here and there, but, like, dude, I'm, I'm fucking starving. I'm going to go in when I'm done with these breaks. Which, by the looks of things, once I'm done with the eBay breaks, that's pretty much going to do it for tonight. Bro, Tomas, I went ham tonight, dog. I bought pizza, and I got some chicken wings, and not just any pizza, oh no, I got that stuffed crust pizza hut, yo, but I got enough food for like tonight and tomorrow, I got all, oh, dude, I got so much food, Oh, you already know I got that Meat Lovers, dog. I got Meat Lovers and I got a Supreme. I ate half of the Supreme. The Meat Lovers is there just chilling. I got chicken wings and I got some fucking uh, breadsticks too with a soda. I I I went I went ham, dog. I went ham. Let's see if we can uh, get something fire in this box. You guys don't have pizza, Big Greg? What the hell? What do you mean you wish we had good pizza? Do you not have like a freaking Pizza Hut franchise in, in Oregon or Washington or whatever? Alright, 
Let me take a little pause here. Oh, you got Domino's? Domino's is solid. Domino's is solid. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, Tomas, have a good one, my dude. Appreciate you hanging out, my man. Hope to see you soon, bro. I hope you give me good news tomorrow, man. Hope the doctor gives you a nice clean bill of health so you can go back to Hong Kong. <laughs> the Pizza Hut closed? What? Why? Pizza Hut is like the bees, man. The bees' knees. Domino's wings are garbage. I'm going to have to agree. You know who else has really garbage wings? Little Caesars. I don't know if you guys have Little Caesars, but we do. And it's uh, it's all right. But the, uh, the wings are not. Word, Tomas, for show. Have a good night, my man. Kingery Phillies Mini. Employee stealing? Dang, dog. It's hard out here. You know, it's hard out here for a pimp. What the heck is this? Oh, claustrophobia. Is that Lady Gaga? That looks like Lady Gaga. Claustrophobia. If you don't know, that's the fear of enclosed spaces, yeah. I personally don't have claustrophobia, but I, I, I have like a, a, a baby, baby claustrophobia. Like, if I'm in a, if I'm anywhere, if I'm in an enclosed space for like long amount, like l like a long time, I'm gonna start to feel uncomfortable and I'm gonna start to lose my mind. Uh, but like, if you put me in a closet, I'm not gonna freak out. But if you leave me in a closet for like half a day, then that's when I'm gonna freak out. But I, I more so have a, not really a fear, but I, I don't like being in large crowds. When I see like large crowds of people, like I get, I get, like I can't explain it. Like I get into that fight or flight mode and like I just want to knock fuckers out. Like I don't know, it's, I'm weird. Chris Bryant Cubs mini. They, pretty, exactly, Big Greg, exactly. My thoughts exactly. Runetto Doors thoughts exactly too. Patch for the Rangers. Uh, to answer your question for, no. Spectra number one is not full. And by the looks of things, it'll probably fill tomorrow. For uh, for AU, what you know about that fight or flight mode, dog? There's actually three modes. There's fight, flight, and freeze. I didn't learn about the freeze until I got to college. And the teacher was like, oh yeah, there's a third one. Blew my mind. Kane Brewers Mini. I can't believe the non-baseball spot has the lone auto so far. Encarnacion Indians Mini. Yeah, man, there's three modes, dog. Fight, flight, and uh, freeze. You know, whenever you're put into a situation, you're either going to fight, you're going to confront, you're going to run away, fly, or you're going to freeze. Do nothing. Bregman, Astros Mini. Personally, I'm a fighter. Depending on the situation, I will fly. Like, if it's like coppers, oh, dude, I'm flying. I'm brown. I'm getting shot. Going to write that down? <laughs> For what? <laughs> for what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, God. You yeah, sure, for Go for it, man. Write it down. <laughs> Today, Uncle Jesse taught me there are three modes. Fight, flight, and freeze. Uh, Upton. Relic for the Angels. Parker Bridwell. Mini for the Angels. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm, I okay. I'm I'm obviously losing it. Like the later on it gets in the night, I just started to lose it. Geronimo, 
Yeah, take notes, kids, because this is going to be on the text tomorrow, dog. This is going to be on the test tomorrow. I'm going to quiz you tomorrow for at you, and if you win, I'm going to give you $100 in break credit, dog. For real, Uncle Jersey? Hell no, man. Fuck you think. Korea Astros Mini? <laughs> you know you wrote it down for. <laughs> dad, 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 you know what I learned today? What, son? Today I learned that there are three modes. Fight, flight, and freeze. What the fuck are you talking about, four? Don't know, I. I don't know, Jackson. Many for the Yankees. I love you. I love you, four. You're my guy, bro. Take notes, kids. Davis, many for the... <laughs> Oreos. <laughs> ah, I wanna, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put a test together now, <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in the Facebook group <laughs> just to see how many people participate. <laughs> ah, man, Andrew McCutcheon, patch for the Pirates. In last night's stream, Uncle Jesse said there are three modes. What are the three modes? Fight, flight, freeze. Fuck shit. Crap, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be like multiple choice. Multiple choice. Uh, Mazzara, Rangers Mini. Jack Peterson, Mini for the Dodgers. My boy Chase. Chase is a baller name. I will say that, though. Chase is a baller name. Brian Dozier, the Minnesota Twins Home Run Derby Challenge. Sleeving minis is what I live for, dog. I live for it. Oh, I've been waiting to do an Alan Ginter. You don't even know. But, yes, a lot of minis. A lot of minis. Uh, Archer, Mr. Chris Archer for the race. Roger Maris, Yankees Mini. My sorters are going to have a blast with this. <laughs> the heck is this mismatch socks baseball superstition that'll go to the non-baseball spot modern cleats you gonna hit me with a rip card or what Dallas Keiko, Astros Mini. There you go, my boy. Ripping that Mexico. Ah, if four had a card, would it be a chase card? Hmm. Yeah, dude, the non baseball spot's going to kill it every time. Like, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Carlos Gonzalez Mini, Rockies, glow in the dark. Luke Weaver, Cardinals Mini. <laughs> Mr. Bloomstein, Mini. Jimbo in the house. Roatan, that looks like a cool beach. Where's that at? In Honduras, hey. Just got back from the 12th century, slain dragons and whatnot. The Naga Morich, which measures 1.25 uh, million units in the Scoville uh, heat unit scale. The Ghost Pepper. Well, it's not the Ghost Pepper. The Serpent Chili, cousin of the Ghost Pepper. It'd be dope if I could like scratch and sniff and be like, <gasps> oh my god, or like a or like a like lick it and then taste the pepper. 
I got ideas for days. Last stack here, Mr. James. Bill James, Manny. So did you go two weeks like without any technology at all? Or, like you were like legit living in the 16th century or the 12th century? Like no electricity. You took like you took a shower like no times within those two weeks. Cause you know in the 12th century humans were filthy. Bullpen car mini right there. And that, my friends, is going to do it. Oh, but not really. Because we do have the box toppers. Last shot of some autos here. Good luck, folks. We have Mr. Clayton Kershaw, Dodgers. We hit exactly one auto for one. You'll watch it in the recap here. Alright, let me adjust this so you can see it better. Chris Bryant. Box topper. Now some of these could be autographed. Got two more. Oh, you had running water? Oh, man, that's not the 12th century, man. I thought you were going to come back a leper and the, the full deal. Uh, What are you talking about, Big Greg? This is a this is four boxes, bro. Four boxes of Allen and Ginter. Mr. Don Mattingly, I kind of want that mustache for the Yankees. Did you launch anybody on the catapult like I like I asked you to, Jimbo? And Otani. Box topper. Hey, that kind of looks like my boy 4 at you. 4 at you, is that you, dog? Chase, is that you, bro? Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm about to hit that dinger. Rookie for the Angles. I mean, Angels. Very nice. And that was the break, folks. Yeah, one auto in four boxes, so that means that there's probably a lot of autos in the other four boxes. All right, so we what do we have? Recap time. McCutcheon Pirates, Upton Angels, Odor Rangers, Smoltz Braves, Bias Cubs, Brinson Marlins, Archer Rays, Freeman Braves, Jones Orioles, Ortiz Braves, Bloomstein Poker champion, non-baseball spot, and we have Allen and Ginter Bagley. The autograph for the non-baseball spot. That's a good question. Is the bullpen car going to the Diamondbacks? Yes, it is. It has been... Uh... Well, see, I don't know. Technically... It's a bullpen car. It doesn't have a team assignment. But it does have the D-backs on there. I'm going to make a call say, fuck it. Goes to the D-backs. Done. Going to the D-backs. I have spoken. And that was it for the break, peeps. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.